In a way, we've come to the ends of the earth. It's only a little bit more over a century that people were pushing across the Antarctic on land and exploring it. The deep ocean around Antarctica is just as blank to us now as it was 100 years ago. We have the technology to reach into the ocean depths here. Attention all crew, attention all crew. We are presently in the launch position. Pitch and roll. It's such a mix of emotions. It is exciting, it is thrilling, and yet it's also slightly terrifying. And you're not quite sure what the outcome is going to be. But you reach into the unknown, you are gonna come back with something that you, that you didn't have before. No one has previously dived to 1,000 metres in Antarctica. It's a huge opportunity to be involved in this kind of exploration. You're just seeing the world with fresh eyes for the first time. Control, control, deep rover. My depth, 1,000 metres. On bottom, over. Oh, we're really seeing some krill now. Yeah, they're starting to, yeah, they're starting to come in. Krill are one of the most important parts of the ecosystem here. They are food for so many of the inhabitants here, and they're so numerous, they really dominate the oceans around here. These particles we've seen raining down are marine snow. It's organic material that's sinking to the seabed, and it's food. Here, it's thicker than I've ever seen it anywhere else in the world's oceans. That's beautiful. It's incredibly rich marine life we're seeing here. I mean, it's a sort of a living carpet. But just on one rock, I counted more than a dozen species just by eye. That oxygen-rich water that's sinking past us is really giving us this lush, living landscape. Crocodile ice fish just ahead. Oh, nice one, nice one. Nadir Rover, we've got a big Death Star over here. One of the animals that's amazed us, we've nicknamed the Death Star. It's an Antarctic sun sea star. It's got up to 50 arms, and the tops of the arms are covered with tiny little pincers that immediately snap shut when anything brushes past them. There aren't many fish predators that can cope with the cold conditions here, so it can wave its fishing rod arms about and they don't get bitten off. Right down lower. Oh, yep, there is, yeah. It's actually like traveling back in time. It's the invertebrates, it's the animals without backbones that dominate and dominate as predators. And that's how the oceans were more than 250 million years ago. What we're doing right now is exploration in its purest sense. We are seeing parts of our planet no one has seen before, no one has ever visited before. If we all share in the exploration of our planet, then we will appreciate it, we'll all feel involved in its stewardship for the future. Thank you.